Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to solder letters uh, with Pulloni plugin in 3D Max and making different extrusion effects with them. This is a nice way of showing new features of this plugin, but of course you can make the same with any model you want to destroy. So let's start, this is our test. I have created it just uh, using the test uh, tool in 3D Max and adding an extrude modifier to it to increase its thickness. So this is our model, let's shutter it, open shutter it window and in the number of shutter increase it to 100 and click on shutter it button. Now pull on it is uh, shuttering the model. Here we are, the fragments are there. We can see the fragments in the viewport, much better in this version of the plugin. Okay, these are the fragments, the green lines are the borders uh, between them. Uh, so, very nice, but uh, if you want to create more fragments, you have to reshader the model. This is very easy with pull on it. Just, uh, you have just to select the fragments you want to shatter. For instance, let's say you want to create more fragments in the bottom area. For this, just uh, select the whole test and click on preview button. Now, uh, move the point cloud where you want to create more fragments. Okay, so we are going to create more fragments in the bottom area. Place the cloud there and increase the number of fragments to create more of them in this area. Now let's go to Shared button, click on it and pull on it is reshattering the model, adding more fragments at the bottom. Here we are, let's check our fragments. Now there should be more fragments at the bottom of the test, ok? Here are our fragments and there are more of them at the bottom, so perfect. Let's go to Dynamics for this, open PDA Basic Fractures, click on Create Fracture Body and in this pop-up window, this is our selection of fragments, ok? Just click on OK. The model tar orange, that means fracture body has been created. And let's go to Compute Dynamics, uh, check Use Grid as Grown, Bake Keys, and play the uh, simulation. The model is falling and breaking. Very nice. Let's uh, compute a uh, few more frames and uh, play the result. Ok, let's stop this. This is our test uh, falling and breaking. And pull on it con with several parameters to control the way the model is breaking, the amount of fragments. For instance, let's reduce hardness to zero to make the uh, model break completely. Ok, creating more fragments, more destruction, ok, everything breaking completely. I think it's too much, so let's stop this and increase hardness to a value like uh, uh, 10 units. Let's compute again. Ok, breaking nicely. Let's uh, stop this, check the fragments, the simulation, very nice, but uh, when working with uh, letters, it's possible you want to make some special effects, like uh, making some letter breaking uh, later at a specific frame, so let's say you want the capital letters here to break at a specific frame, this is very easy as well with full on it using adaptive fractures, so switch on stress view, 
open PDI advanced infractors and here let's uh, change to uh, from view to select uh, the letter uh, more easily and select our P letter click on create cluster and set it as breakable at frame set our frame like 60, 60 and set harness to zero to make sure the letter break completely when reaching frame 60 like may, let make the same with the D letter select it, create a cluster set the cable at frame uh, 60 or anyone you, you want and set harness to zero finally make the same with the I select it, create a cluster set it as the cable at frame uh, number 60 and set harness to zero to break it completely now here we are let's uh, check our cluster there switch off express view and compute dynamics again so now the capital letters PDI should break should stand and break when reaching frame 60 and the rest of the letter should break from the beginning so let's compute and let's check our letters move but doesn't break and when reaching frame 60 they start to uh, collapse ok very nice let's finish the simulation and play back the result test falling breaking but capital letters stand until frame 60 so this is the kind of control you can get with uh, latest pulled on it let's uh, do another nice effect but before I want to show you this new material here is the PDI cut material from the for the interfaces you can replace it for the one you prefer here in the material editor you can let's make an example you can you can modify its color okay or assigning any material you want with displacement or whatever and check it same uh, color the maps whatever you want to do with this material so let's set it as a light gray for this example and play back the uh, keys again okay and now let's go to make another uh, nice effect which is a kind of disintegration of the test for this let's delete all cluster because we don't need them anymore and let's uh, uh, use uh, space warp or of force field for this let's create a wind a wind field over the scene and apply it to our test to make it a kind of disintegrate so place our wind field here doesn't mind really and increase its strength to something bigger like 100 units now in PDA, PDA basic fractures click on affected by four fields ok, now the wind is going to affect the dynamics of, of our test but it is falling because of gravity so let's uh, disable gravity, PDI gravity to make the effects of the field alone so now let's compute and you can see our test is kind of uh, fragments uh, flying upwards but I want them to fly in the opposite direction so let's uh, invert our uh, ok increase they are flying in the wrong direction so let's uh, our field pointing in the right direction now our fragment should uh, fall to the ground ok very nice this is our test uh, integration using pool loading.
in case you want some part of the letter it doesn't, doesn't move at all, this is also possible using what uh, a massive fracture, switch on the view, select the part we don't want to, to move at all, select the top part of our test, for example, and set it as static. If it's black, that means this part shouldn't break and shouldn't move in dynamic. Let's switch off stressor view and compute again. And now our test is uh, collapsing, but uh, the top part is standing because of our uh, sets. Very nice. Let's play back the final result. Motion graphic people should like this. Okay. Very nice effect. So now let's go to make a different one. Okay. Let's make a different one which is uh, breaking letters progressively, starting from the left, breaking the P, the U, the double L, and so on. So first, let's delete this uh, field because we don't need any more, and we are going to use a gravity spherical gravity field instead. So create it on the viewport and place it. This time is very important to place it just in front of our test. Okay, place it just in front of the P letter. And now let's go to animate our uh, field so it passes through our test. Okay, let's uh, animate our gravity field, making it pass through the test uh, from frame 0 to frame 100. So now, when the uh, gravity field passes through the test, it is going to break progressively. Uh, let's uh, make some adjustment here in the field. Increase as always its strength to 100, and also apply a, a decay so it affects only the letters nearby, not the far letters, to make to break the test progressively. Here in basic practice, just we have first this blue fragment is because we have set as static before for the uh, previous uh, sample. So let's make then uh, dynamics again, just selecting all those fragments in advanced fracture and set them as dynamic. Okay, switch off special view. And let's uh, start computing dynamics with our field. Okay, it's affecting the letter smoothly, but something fails here because I have to enable gravity uh, to make the letter uh, fall in. So let's enable gravity and compute again. And now the test is. Uh, moving as a whole because I have to make here in activation basic factor activation set it as breaks upon impact for making the test uh, breaking but doesn't move. So let's compute now our letters nicely falling and breaking because of our uh, gravity field. Let's finish the simulation and playback the final result. Okay. The letter falling and breaking. Very nice. So, well, let's uh, hide our field to view the final result clearly. Okay. And well, this is the end of the tutorial.
Thanks for watching. Bye.